UNICEF. Grace and You Cooking Show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. And welcome back. And of course, as was promised earlier in the show, it is time for Grace and you and men. We have some wonderful recipes lined up. You definitely have to stay tuned for this. So let me uh, have my assistant chefs, <laughs> like I'm the main chef here, right? Uh, introduce themselves. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Lourdes Collado. I'm fairly new at Grace Kennedy, and I'm going to cook some used hot wings today, and... I'm looking forward. It's my first time cooking this, so it's all exciting. <laughs> so you're going to show us exactly how easy it is to do it. Yeah, because I'm not a professional, and, and the recipe is, is very good, very easy. Uh -huh. I Well, reading it is very easy, and I'm <laughs> sure it, it won't be a problem for me to work out something. Ooh, our first cooking challenge for the year, and of course we have Marcelo. Yes, and um, I am going to be preparing a Mackison um, glazed pork chops. So that's going to be a lot of cooking, a lot of fire in the kitchen today. Yeah. So um, I guess Lourdes could get started. We will get started. And I just gotta <coughs> say, every time you see that Matheson pork chops, that uh, Steven, my cameraman over here, just smiles because that sounds like something the guys will enjoy. All oh. right. So let's get started with our use hot wings. All Lourdes, right. So we're gonna put talk the us through it. Talk yeah. Through. You'll okay. you, yeah. There we go. All right. So we're going to put the fire on. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask everyone, this is the, the resealable bag. Uh -huh. You want to you wanna put the, the three-quarter cup of flour mm -hmm. in it. Then you want to put the grazed hot pepper sauce. It's about two tablespoons mm. just to put it in there. And if you want it hotter, you just put more. Ah, of course. That's the beauty of it. Then we have the Muller um, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And for this, the recipe calls for half a, te uh, a teaspoon. And you can, you can measure like me, because I want to follow the recipe. Mm -hmm. And I'm not that great at um, just putting in like stuff. So I just decide I'm going to measure it. Yeah, that's so fine. That's what a lot of people <coughs> do at home. Yeah, well, you know, you want to be precise sometimes, but not like Marcelo, he's just a professional <laughs> already. And then half of the consomme, Muller consomme, the pollo, mm -hmm. just to give it a little taste. And then for then, this is a mix you want. You want to okay. put your, the wings inside. Ooh. So, and that's why we want the resealable bag, because you just need to seal it back. And then you got to shake, shake it, it out. out. Now, you know, bartenders usually have a signature shake. Lourdes, we're going to see your signature chicken shake Oh, right yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to uh, put your hips into it, too. Yeah, <laughs> everything, right? <laughs> well, we want to make sure everything is well coated. Yes. So, for sure, you know, there it is. <laughs> And of course, when uh, sometimes when I am in the kitchen, I put some music uh -huh. so that will even you know stir it up a little bit. <coughs> we, we, I can have Marcelo sing and then you dance. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could be an option All right. too. The rain stopped for a while, so I don't think we want me to sing. Today. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll keep that. All right. So now my um, the oil should be hot, so it I'm gonna. Is. So I'm gonna put um, some of the wings in there. I'll just, ah, there we go. So we're going to fry this for about seven minutes. Okay. Um, well, on, or until it's all the sides are, are properly yeah. cooked. Yes. <coughs> and then we're going to come back to, to do the sauce. Yes, because okay. I need to figure out where the use fits into all of oh, this. Oh, yeah. Right? It's so coming uh, up. Now we move over to Marcelo, who's going to be making some pork chops. Right. So, well... Okay, like, so unlike you're Lourdes, the one who doesn't unlike measure Lourdes, we just chefs. pour in. So <laughs> it says two tablespoons of coconut, coconut oil. Of mm -hmm. course, it's great. But we, we just improvise, right? We yeah. pour enough. You know, I think this is a male-female thing because I like to measure too, but I find most <laughs> men don't. <laughs> because, I mean, you, you construct your own things. Men okay. like to build things. Maybe that's <laughs> right. All right. All right, so I we're going to season. I <laughs> oh, sure. uh, So we're going to uh. season. We're going to use the complete seasoning. Yeah. Um, and we're going to use consomme. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to use a little bit of black pepper. Right? Okay. And so, if you notice, I'm just... 
you're just tossing these it things too. and you know you're so coating it's like a it dry on, rub it's a dry rub and you you coat it on both sides and then we will add those to the, um, the pot and mm. have these basically go and they'll cook for about four minutes on either side okay. just to get them nice and golden brown so that was very easy. Once you have your pork chops going, uh, you just <coughs> once you have your pork chops, you just rub on the seasoning and put them to cook. Right. That's it. In a little bit of coconut oil. Right. And then the other part of my um, recipe calls for me to saute the onions. So I'll do that once the pork chops are finished. Okay. And then in the meantime, I can start putting together the sauce. Yeah, let's do All it. Right. So what we're going to add on here is. It says one tablespoon <laughs> of vinegar. I like that you for those who, tell us what the For those who are writing good. down the recipe. That's very um, important. It calls for uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, one tablespoon of grace mustard. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll sprinkle a little bit of Mother. sal de ajo. And then we will let that simmer along with... No, it says one cup. Okay. But See, this one you can be lenient with, right? The, the minute you open a bottle, you have to use the entire thing. <laughs> so we're just going to um, add a cup of Maccasin stout, and we're just going to let this simmer so until we can add... So what you do you add, add one cup, and then you sip the rest while you finish cooking. Well, no, I should have chilled this before, <laughs> but yeah, that, that actually helps the cooking to go a, a lot quicker. All right, so we we'll just have that this simmer. Time that the numbers are scrolling for your uh, Grace cookbook. Uh, remember, we just spoke about that. So the numbers are scrolling on the screen periodically. And uh, you text in and you get your cookbook. So back to cooking. I, I had to say that. <laughs> well, I, I, maybe we can move on to, the, to my sauce. Okay. Meanwhile, Marcelo is cooking his delicious so Marcelo is cooking up his mackerel. Okay, Marcelo, let me do me the honors, please. All right. All right. I'm good at something. I can light the grill. <laughs> That's good. So yeah. now here's where um, the little sauce comes in place, right? Okay. So you want to do the half cup of butter. Mm -hmm. Just dump it in the saucepan. Then you want to put, we have two thirds of, two thirds cup of great hot habanero sauce. Ooh, wee! That is hot wave. Yes, <laughs> it is. I wish you got Marcelo's face just now. <laughs> Do you like pepper? I am yeah. a, I'm not a pepper <laughs> eater to any great extent, but that's a lot of pepper. Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, you know, it's for those. Of course, you want to know if you, if for your kids, maybe they won't want yeah. so much. You just measure a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> You can always uh, play around with the with the measuring of the, uh, especially Absolutely. of the pepper, right? And maybe you do a hot sauce for the adults and then something milder for the kids. Exactly, so that that will work. But it can't be hot wings without uh, that bite. No, no, hot is hot, mm -hmm. and you know everybody has different tastes, but it has to be some kind of hotness in it. <laughs> um, and then we want to put the use. All and right, this is the there's use. the use. <laughs> this is the use from uh, of naranja, the, the flavor. So you want to put maybe quarter spoon, quarter of the teaspoon, or depend your taste also, you yeah. know, how much you want of the flavor. Uh, you don't want to put so much so that it overcomes the, the taste. Yeah. So for just so you're going to have a nice orange flavor to that as well. Right. So there we go, we can mix it. You can bring down the volume of the... All right. All right. And then we want to put, we want to um, put a little bit more of the uh, Muller um, garlic powder. Yeah. And this, yes, I'll just dash in a little bit because <laughs> it won't... See, we're getting bolder over here. <laughs> I'm getting You've inspired us. Exactly. Yeah. Lourdes, I'm just gonna Please turn your turn, Yeah, that's good. All. Also, uh, we want to put just a little bit of the consomme, just, you know, just so that the sauce has the, the, the nice flavor because, you know, Muller chicken consomme can go anything, anything and it's just, yeah. it's just perfect. Like, you notice we're not using any salt or, or yeah. the black pepper this time. Everything is, will give the, that flavor already yeah. with the consomme. Mm -hmm. And then the vinegar. The vinegar, you just want, uh, you just want to put like half a teaspoon, you know, just 
so that it gives that um the the grace vinegar just so you can have it on the sauce oh that's good that actually looks ready already okay we can turn it off now just let it simmer my wings are ready too so i'm gonna take it off the pot Ooh. how is marcella doing there I'm, I'm just on him. I've taken out the pork chops and I'm just going to saute um, two, a very small onion. Okay. Let's put it that way. So um, it's going to go along with. Uh, and that's just going to yeah. go into the sauce mm. and then it's going to be served over the um, over the pork chops. Any kind of sauce that includes onions, sauteed <coughs> onions, is going to be delicious. But of course, this one has macas in as well. So your pork chops are finished. Yeah, pork chops are done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it looks like a, a little blackened um, pork chops because of the black pepper. Yeah, and so you're just draining it. Right yeah, now. we're just um, taking off the excess fat from that. Okay. And waiting for the onions. The, onion the sauce is ready. That looks good already. <coughs> okay. So what I'm going to do here, Marlene, is just that I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to simmer the the uh, the wings inside the sauce okay. just maybe like three minutes so that they they observe the sauce yeah. and you know there you go Ooh. so you're gonna push those around in the sauce <coughs> yeah of course you cut wings and hot sauce yeah it's optional of course if you want the sauce on the side but you know we want to that's cheating <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so our pork chops oh, you are put finished. Your onions in there we just added the onion to the, the so mixture we had before. Oh. And all you're going to do is really just place that over there the pork chops. You there you go. go. And of course, you have your plate ready already. Of course. Well, with some rice and some vegetables. Coconut white rice, of course. Coconut and some fresh rice. veggies for, you know, the New Year's resolutions. <laughs> of being a little bit healthy. <laughs> Oh, wow. So go ahead and put that right. Just Check that out. It. Let's showcase this go. to the front for a second. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the Mackeson pork chops. <coughs> Whoop, sorry. And we have the And ones. ready at the same time ready. is the Gyo's Hot Wings. <coughs> And both these recipes are included in the 2014 uh, calendar, Grace right. calendar. For the glazed pork chops, it's the month of June. Okay. And the hot wings is the month August. of... August. Right. August, that's right. right. So we're ahead of the game. <coughs> <laughs> you obviously can be able to uh, try it at home. Once you get your calendar, and the only way you'll get your calendar is if you text those numbers that are on the screen right now, and uh, you'll get one of the limited editions <coughs> of the calendars, right? So what else, uh, guys? Has you did well, Lord Essie. Yay! And she had never <coughs> tried this recipe before, no. so it proves that you could just put it all together based on what you get, uh, the recipe that they provided. Exactly. Yeah. I don't have to be a pro, but and it, that's the beauty about the, the Grace Calendar um, recipes <coughs> that, you know, you can always just try anything, go to the store, get your Grace products, and Easily you can try anything at home. So, uh, And That's you can awesome. also find these at um, gracerecipes.com mm -hmm. online. So you can always go there. And there's a Spanish version as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. All right, guys. Well, uh, I want to say thank you for joining us. I'm going to get ready to sample in just a bit. <laughs> uh, but I got to go ahead and take that break. Two reminders. Uh, remember that we do have the numbers scrolling for you to text in for your calendar. Um, and you can be able to... Uh, get your calendar and there's also that promotion with the Facebook right, for the uh, Colombian coffee <coughs> and it's just logging on to Facebook find Grace Kennedy Belize's like page, page and uh, right I love Grace right? That's right. Mm -hmm. there you go well thank you guys thank you thank you <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and take a break and when we come back it will be to chit chat uh, with Chris El Castillo about Danza Revelations Thank you